Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more Foundry. So, what last episode we got two very, very basic um, smelting columns set up. And by smelting columns, I mean there's two smelters at each. It's not exactly a base yet. I also started digging out just this lump that's in the middle there because I think we've got some nice flat ground here. Oh! They ran out of power. Hopefully they didn't run out of power too long ago. They, they didn't. We seem fine. We've got plenty. Um, so, yes, at the end of last episode, we managed to get our uh, emergency beacon researched. We need to craft that, place it down somewhere apparently not near our buildings. Um, emergency beacon. Let's get one of them done. And I'm just going to keep digging this out for a second while that's getting built up. I wanted to build a nice big base at some point if we can. Or a foundation for a nice big base, so I've not got to keep worrying about placing floor pieces. Oh, right click is five. That's always good to know. I tried combinations of shift, control, and alt last time, but now right click is make stacks of five. I don't know if this emergency beacon needs to actually go on something. throw it all the way over here call for help press the button and then let's get away from Great. it now you might want to take a step back and look up a real well, breaker this I see what you did there and companion bureaucrat bot c3bb for short will help us establish a connection with mission command First, let's help him out of that drop pod by deconstructing and placing it in a safe location. I want a screenshot first, sunshine. Calm down. She can get quite nice screenshots in this. Just alt you, by the way. Brings up this menu. <clears throat> right, let's let's dig you out of here. Dismantle the drop pod. Oh, I see. Place C3 BB Bob. What? What? Oh, there we go. Do, do I need this anywhere in particular? Does it need to be powered? Welcome to the ground C three BB. He looks amazing. This emergency beacon because we are having trouble communicating with mission command. Critical damage on the mission command space station, you say? Spontaneous yes. explosive disassembly. That's extremely troubling. What now? Are we trapped here? Right, while they're talking, I'm going to keep digging. That aligns with our disaster contingency protocol. C3BB, initiate a thorough analysis of the incident. We'll integrate your extended blueprint archive with our research servers and construct a self-sufficient manufacturing facility capable of providing emergency aid. You think? Oh, I should probably stop digging now, right? One minute. Just got to finish this uh, this round. And you put a crater where I was flattening it out, you goddamn swine. Anyway. Oh, he's got a quest for us. E to interact, not F. Yeah. <laughs> you stop beeping at me. You're right. We need a machine that is able to craft common items. I'm glad you have the blueprint stored. Let's go ahead and research the assembler. All right. Research the assembler, you say. Why has this got no power? It had power yesterday. Because we are out of biofuel. This is why I'm digging out the flatness that I'm digging out at the minute. Because I want to make it all on one big power grid 
so I don't have to keep running between them and sharing it. And yet there's all this flat land around here that I could have worked off. Never mind. Never mind. Just a little bit more. Oh. I'm, I'm really trying to get rid of all these giant pillars and stuff that are around here. They make it seem almost claustrophobic. And there you go. Research interface. So, assembler is what we want. We need five of the science packs. Um, probably need to craft five of the science packs first. Let's get going. Um, and then we've just got ridiculous amounts of this. At least this is cool. Can you go up a teal? A, a, a teal? That is beautiful. Wait, really I didn't want to fill that level in, did I? I wanted to keep that. No, never mind. I'm not going to flatten the entire world off, by the way. We're just going to flatten off this little bit that I'm going to start with. I assume eventually we're going to have to have conveyor belts bringing stuff in from miles away. I don't know if there's trains and stuff like that in this. There's normally trains in this sort of game. Whether they're in it from the start is another matter entirely, I guess. Come on. Finish them research packs. And then we can start automating some of this stuff. See, this is why I couldn't go and watch Nilhas's series because games like this he always comes up with an immense like starter base that builds everything for you well little bits of everything for you I just don't want to see it because then it's not going to be my playthrough is it it's just me copying somebody oh we've done for research here we go we've got a bit of land to work with around here now um, just throw them in there and that'll get that being researched we've only got a little bit more of this left to dig out I should be probably digging out a load of biomass while I'm not doing anything. Rather than digging out just floor tiles. Although I guess the dilemma is going to be, do you play this exactly like you play Factorio with a main bus? Not everybody plays it like that. I, I play it like that. Just have everything coming off of one main bus. We're going to end up with so much of this um, dirt, aren't we? 60% on the assembler. Yum on. Although the beauty of games like this, there's always something you can be doing. If you've got nothing to do, then you're probably doing something wrong. Or you're just missing something. Can I get this done before the research is done? Go, go, go. I can't get the entire thing done, but I'm going to. Assembler has been researched. Beautiful. I assume our first thing that we're going to be working towards is getting um, research automated. Task complete. Return to um, C3BB. There we go. Nice flat bit of land for us. Beautiful. ABB. Oh, I drilled him. Didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, dude. Great. The assembler will serve as the foundation for mass producing the most commonly required items. Gone are the days of handcrafting. Hmm. <laughs> you say that. C3BB has been able to establish a limited connection to the space station and will try to extract useful information. Meanwhile, we should focus on scaling up. Focus on scaling up, you say. I think I am actually going to swap these belts around. How many tiles have we just dug out there? Let's just have four. Can I get... A couple more smelters, please.
I mean, realistically, I've not got to move this, but I'm going to move this. Uh, that can stay where it is. No, it can't. Please don't take out the entire floor. Good. Yeah, I want that to stay where it is. Um, smelters, get down here. Would that work? That wouldn't work. You've got to have at least a little bit of a gap, right? And then... No power? Oh yeah. I destroyed the um, power block, didn't I? Whoopsie. Yeah, if you press Q, it copies this stuff, by the way. Yeah, I'm just going to drill all this in front as well. I don't know if it's ideal you're keeping everything right next to each other like this or not, but... We are for now. Ah, that's how you change it. Input and output. And then we can go like this. And then this is where I want everything to be coming across into one place, isn't it? <clears throat> let's let's pretend we're going with a main bus. And I have no idea how I want to do this yet. Insufficient items. Oh god, I'm out of conveyor belts. There you go, make me another 50. But then I'm going to bring all the other stuff across this way as well. Which, that's that's quite a trip. And do I want to bring it across so freaking close? Probably not. Feels like you're probably going to want to leave... At least a little bit of a gap. Maybe you don't. Maybe you've not got to leave a gap at all, but... Not normally how it goes on games like this. Right, let's quickly get another couple of smelters sorted out here. And, in fact... Let's actually just get this taken out a second. Mm-mm-mm... Oh, no, it did the floor. I didn't want you to do the floor. So, right there. Two. Oh, yep, you're in the middle of building them. Fair dues. And... You're going to be going out. In, in, in. And we need... Just a touch, yeah, touch more of this digging out. I've got the auto climb thing enabled, haven't I? That's why I keep jumping up randomly. And convey about me. Don't need that there anymore.
Right now. That wants to be output. These want to be intake. But I need to pay attention when I'm doing that. And... I don't... I'm pretty sure at this point conveyor belts don't need power to move things, but... Obviously the uh, loaders slash unloaders do. And... You're going to be output. I need to load more of them. We're going to come across this way. Then this is where I need to build some of the ramp ones, isn't it? Just give me five of them for now. I don't even know if this is too many for one belt or what. It kind of seems like it, right? Although it is getting backlogged and we are kind of... Like I say, stop doing them. We've got plenty at the minute. Oh. We need to do that. Right, are you going to let me build? That's as close as we can get to this. That's where that line's going to go. Get rid of all them, and... Bring you up here. There we go. Right, we've got stuff that's next to each other. Good job, team. And I need more conveyor belts again. I pick stuff up off the belt. Always good to know. Just hold E. Because we need to get some assemblers being crafted. We've already got some. Holy... I've got a feeling this is all going to want found out. Yeah. Let's just dig out a 3x3 three three for now and put this on top of that. But how are we going to load into this is my question. Obviously we've got the loaders unloaders. No power. This is why I want to get all the flooring sorted off camera. So everything's just connected in one go. Not that it's mega difficult to do like, but... Configure assembler. So I assume the first thing we're going to want to be making... Well, now we need to be making machine parts and stuff, don't we? Are we going to want them putting on belts? Machine parts are just plates, aren't they? Right. First things first. You make machine parts, then. And we're out of power again. Oh, what? I really need to run around and start digging some of this stuff out. Oh. God damn it. I thought it had finished. That should be enough for a minute or two, right? Oop. And in you go. So you're doing machine parts, which needs these, right? Oh, it's got no foundation. Right, I know what I'm doing between episodes. This is only mildly annoying.
That can go right there. So you're making machine parts, yeah? Then, just to get conveyor belts going... I'm pretty sure I'm going to need... Do you need to put this straight onto a thing? Is it like, do you need a loader to do this? You've got to pull them out of the factory and then back in. You can't put them like right next to each other. Yeah, no. So you will be up. Oh. Building onto belt. And then belt into building. This will be input. Bring you a bit further across. And this can be input as well. Oh, what? Missing foundation. Yeah, I thought I dug it all out. Whoopsie. There you go. <clears throat> You're going to make me some... of these. Oh, for Christ's sake. Right. Sorry, just one minute. Get rid of all this. I'm going to have a, a bit of a session between this episode and the next one, I think, and just get a foundation placed down all over the place so we can stop having to do this. There we go. And then you come all the way down to the end. You are going to be import, and you go there. Input, you go there. And we've got some sort of belts automated. What research is them? Because there's got to be like splitters and stuff. Basic infrastructure. Logistics counter. Character improvements. Ooh. Doesn't seem like they're the main thing you want to be uh, building to start with, does it? Auto sort this, what are we missing? Plates. Need loads more plates. Give me a couple more assemblers. I don't think we need to automate the ramps yet. Machine parts and technium rods. See, I kind of want the rods over that side now. Oh, this slope up and slope down. Is there anything for these? No, there isn't. I need to remember that if you press Q, it copies whatever you're looking at. Um, in that case... What have we got? A gap of four in the middle. Let's keep with a gap of four. Two, three, four. One, two, three. I just want to very quickly... Oops. Very quickly get science automated. 
and then I can wrap it up for this episode and go and just like put down a load of foundations. Go like that and go like that. So you're going to be machine parts again. There's got to be an easier way of doing this that I'm just being stupid and missing. Um, for now you can come to there. We need a couple more of these. Well, we actually need more than a couple, but... I should have these going into chests at the end or something, shouldn't I? You're going to be making me machine parts again. Oh, I guess you just want these going onto a belt, right? Rather than keep doing what I'm doing. That'd be the same thing, but at the minute we've got no splitters or anything like that to make use of, so... You come round here, and for now you're just going to um, go like that. You're going to be input, and this is going to go there and there. No, it, it's absolutely not. Pressing every button but the one that I want. I need another one of these, though, and take one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just get the basic research. And then I assume we want to automatically feed it straight in. Give me one of these. I guess you could have belts on top of each other like that. We're, we're, we're not wanting that sort of thing yet, then. You go to that. You come down to here. Just thought I'd try. Um, you're going to be import and... Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that. We don't we don't need that doing that there. It's got no freaking foundations. got a feeling that I'm going to want all this stuff off the ground so I don't keep doing this bloody thing. Just do that like that. No power? Didn't I build this? Oh, I think it's just run out of biomass again, hasn't it? More than likely. I have been faffing around quite a bit. This is some nice big trees over here. I'm pretty sure this will more than likely have run out as well. Yeah. Manage inventory. Um, auto sort me. Had he split it again. There we go. Half in there. And half in here. This is going to want to move in a second. Nope. Configure assembler. Science packs. And then a couple more of these, right? I'm going to move the research lab to behind this so it can just get straight in there. And a couple more. Oh, 
Alright, let's get that shifted. Get all that gone. Come on, I just want to do that. That's all I'm trying to do. Game, please. And you're going to be output. You're going to be import. Oh yeah, helps if you've got belts. And then we've automated the most basic of researchers, I guess? In a horrible looking way. A truly, truly horrible looking way. Alright, between episodes, like I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill all this area in here with um, with plates, with flooring, just so I can like actually build in a decent fashion because having to keep stopping because I've done something wrong is a little bit daft but anyway that's where we're leaving it for today's episode so thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more all comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always and other than that I'll see you guys next time cheers